earlier in the day, he made another appointment of another governor to a job in the State Department. Uh, I've asked Governor Williams of Michigan to accept a position of responsibility, second and none in the new administration, Assistant Secretary of State for Africa. He brings to that position long experience, energy, compassion, imagination, and a devotion to the future of his country. This is the first appointment I have announced, and I am proud that Governor Williams has accepted this responsibility. When I announced my decision not to run for his seventh term as governor of Michigan, I said I wanted to work for peace. The president-elect has offered me a great opportunity to work for that cause. What happens on the African continent in the next few years is likely to determine whether the rest of this continent will see an expansion of freedom or a further encroachment of communism upon the free world. It is with great pleasure that I name Governor Ribicoff, an old friend and a distinguished public servant, to this first post in the cabinet. Health and education are two matters of great concern to the citizens of this country. As governor of Connecticut, for the last six years, on the average, over 74% of the budget of Connecticut has been devoted to health and education. Governor Ribicoff has had long and successful experience in both of these fields. I, have a, uh, I really accept uh, uh, this appointment uh, with mixed feelings. Uh, I recognize uh, the great honor and the great privilege it will be to work under the leadership of President Kennedy in the days ahead. And yet, uh, uh, I have a deep affection for the state of Connecticut.